Good evening, and welcome to St. John Fisher College's 67th commencement. In accordance with the fire codes, there are exits located on each side of the room. Please take a moment to familiarize yourself with the exit closest to your, your section. If you require assistance during the ceremony, or you are in need of medical, medical attention, please notify one of our event staff and we will help you. You may have noticed when you came in that we are also really excited to be hosting the Empire 8 Outdoor Men's and Women's Track Championship right outside of this building in our Palasini Track and Field Complex. So you may hear some residual excitement from the spectators, teams, and the officials, including whistles or some loud noises signaling the start of a race. So please bear with us. Please also remember to keep your masks on at all times while you are on campus and to be mindful of social distancing. We will not be handshaking during the ceremony, so we encourage a lot of clapping for your graduate. Thank you for your cooperation. Please rise for the procession of the School of Business Class of 2021.
Class of 2021, friends and family joining us via live stream and colleagues. I declare the 67th commencement open. Let me start by saying Happy Mother's Day to all of our moms who are with us in person and virtually. I'd also like to offer a special salute to our student veterans who are here to celebrate their graduation, as well as veterans who are with us today or in our online audience. Please join me in a round of applause for them to thank them for their service. I'd ask that you remain standing for the national anthem and then continue to stand at the conclusion of the anthem for the invocation given by Father Kevin Panora. Thank you. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the past In 1948, at the invitation of Bishop James Carney, the Brazilian Fathers founded St. John Fisher College with a dream to educate young people to glorify God through the pursuit of academic excellence and formation of the whole person. Today, that dream is realized in you, the graduates of 2021. St. John Fisher himself was an English bishop, a brilliant scholar, a servant of the poor, and a martyr. He once said, a good person is not a perfect person. A good person is an honest person, faithful, and unhesitatingly responsive to the voice of God in life. Indeed, it's always been the mission of St. John Fisher College to teach goodness, discipline, and knowledge so students can respond to the divine spark within them. It is now up to you graduates to carry that dream and that mission forward. As we begin today's ceremony, let us bow our heads in prayer. Lord God, we ask your blessing on all who graduate today. Grace their lives with goodness and love, with joy and peace. Help them to stay true to your dream for them and for our world responding to your voice faithfully, using their gifts wisely, and walking into the future with courage, hope, and great love. Amen. Please be seated. And thank you, Father Menorah. At this time, please join me in welcoming the seventh president of St. John Fisher College, Dr. Gerard Rooney, for some opening remarks. Good afternoon and welcome to our graduates. We are especially pleased to also welcome the family and friends of our graduates here today. 
Class of 2021, you have just completed one of the most unprecedented years in the history of our institution. You have overcome adversity, made sacrifices, and kept your studies and your pursuit of your degree at the center of your focus. Congratulations for all you have accomplished this year and for making it this far in your educational journey. You have made us proud and we look forward to celebrating you today. Over 70 years ago, the inaugural fund drive to establish St. John Fisher College was successfully completed thanks to the efforts of the Bazillion Fathers, Bishop James E. Carney of the Diocese of Rochester, local business leaders, and many parishioners of Catholic parishes in Rochester. The following year, in June 1949, ground was broken for the construction of Kearney Hall, and in the fall of 1951, our first class of students arrived. Since then, the college has experienced seasons of change, new beginnings, and remarkable successes. We have enjoyed unprecedented growth. We have had a significant impact on our region and our local community. We remain focused on our collective work to broaden that impact. And through it all, we have continued to live by the motto of our bazillion founders, teach me goodness, discipline, and knowledge. We have conferred over 33,000 degrees and presented 108 honorary degrees. We have grown from offering a Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Science, and Bachelor of Business Administration in the 1950s to today's offerings including Master of Arts, Master of Science, Master of Business Administration, Master of Public Health, and doctoral degrees. You have been part of that growth, those successes, and new beginnings. Today, as we reflect on our institution's storied past and look ahead to a great future, we proudly celebrate you. Welcome once again, and congratulations. It is good to be together with you. The granting of honorary degrees is a long-standing tradition of colleges and universities. Other than the earned doctorate, the honorary degree is the highest recognition an institution can bestow upon an individual and is therefore not lightly given. An honorary degree is conferred honoris causa, for the sake of honor. It is intended to honor a person who has a sustained record of significant achievement. At this time, allow me to introduce Diana Knoll, Chair of the Board of Trustees, to present our candidate for the honorary degree of Doctor of Humane Letters. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to present the candidate for the honorary degree of Doctor of Humane Letters, Mr. Jack DePeters, member of the St. John Fisher College Class of 1973 and past chair of the St. John Fisher College Board of Trustees. I would like to ask Jack, Mr. DePeters, to come forward. A 1973 graduate of the School of Business, Mr. DePeter spent his career with Wegmans Food Markets, completing his final two decades of service as Senior Vice President of Store Operations before retiring in December of 2019. He began his career with Wegmans in 1966 as a part-time employee, and by 1986, he was named Director of Grocery dairy and frozen foods, and was responsible for implementing category management at Wegmans. Throughout his career, he was involved with many industry projects, including work with the Food Marketing Institute's Efficient Consumer Response Committee, and serving as Wegmans executive sponsor of the Collaborative Planning and Forecasting Replenishment a process designed to enable Wegmans and its trading partners to create better business plans, including demand and supply plans. 
1996, along with Colleen Wegman, now president of Wegmans, Mr. DePeters started the Nature's Marketplace Departments, an Italian classic extension to the Wegmans brand line. A member of the St. John Fisher College Board of Trustees since 2007, Mr. DePeters completed his two-year term as chairman in June of 2020, and he was instrumental in guiding the college at the beginning of the pandemic, and certainly has been a wonderful support to me personally. In fall of 2020, the college announced the creation of the DePeters Family Center for Innovation and Teaching Excellence, thanks to a $1 million gift from Mr. DePeters and his wife, Donna, who is here with his daughters and sister. In honor of his retirement, Wegmans also matched the $1 million gift, which is a pretty amazing retirement gift. The center, which is slated to fully open this fall, will transform the teaching and learning environment at the college. Finally, Mr. DePeters has been a passionate and committed member of the Rochester community. He is a former member of the United Way Board of Directors and continues to actively promote the organization and its causes. Dr. Rooney, in recognition of his many contributions to the Rochester business community and his commitment to Fisher's values of goodness, discipline, and knowledge, it is my great privilege to present to you Mr. Jack DePeters to receive the honorary degree of Doctor of Humane Letters from St. John Fisher College. St. John Fisher College hereby confers upon Jack DePeters the degree of honorary degree of Doctor of Humane Letters, together with all the rights, privileges, and honors appertaining thereto. Congratulations, Jack. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in congratulating Mr. Jack DePeters and welcoming him at this time to say a few words. Thank you, thank you. I'm uh, truly humbled um, by the receipt of this honorary degree. Um, I'd like to thank St. John Fisher College, President Jerry Rooney, the Board of Trustees, and a special thanks to Vic Salerno for giving us the Victor E. Salerno Center for American Enterprise. Within the center, Dean Whitmire and faculty have prepared this evening's graduates to be our future business leaders. I've had a wonderful experience serving with these dedicated and passionate people. Now, they made me sound a little old by graduating in 73, right? I have worked for 52 years. I know most of you out there aren't even 52 years old, so bear with me here. Congratulations to the class of 2021, including your family and friends, on this great accomplishment. Let's give an applause and thanks to all of your family and friends. Your experiences at St. John Fisher have readied you to take the next steps towards reaching your goals and dreams. Jesse Owens, a four-time gold medalist in the 1936 Olympics in track and field, was asked how he accomplished this feat. He, his reply was, we all have dreams, but, to make, but in order to make dreams come to reality, it takes a lot of effort, determination, dedication, and self-discipline. I continue to be inspired by this quote and feel that St. John Fisher's values of goodness, discipline, and knowledge are truly reflected in his words. They are also reflected in the people who you surround yourself with. Embrace the goodness, the discipline, and knowledge of your mentors. My dad was my first mentor. Often orphaned as a child, he became a ward of the county and was sent to a farm. 
He learned self-discipline in the most humble of ways. When he was reunited with his siblings and family, it became the most important thing to him. As a man of few words, he led by his actions and kindness. He, his mentorship established my work ethic and taught me goodness. Family members are great mentors. Hang on to all of them. Embrace them. I know there's a few Wegman people out here. I see my good friends in the back, the Lockwoods. I hope there's some of you that have worked for Wegmans part-time or plan to work for it full-time. I was fortunate enough to have spent many hours working with Bob Wegman and the family. They were my career mentors. Within this business, I learned the value of high standards, how to be a good listener, and to be attentive to details and to use all your resources. No one person can do anything by themselves. The knowledge empowered me to be a leader. The knowledge empowered me to be a leader, to collaborate with others so that collectively we could serve our customers, each other, and our community. Value your workplace mentors. Like you, graduates, my years spent at St. John Fisher were full of mentors. Fisher family taught me critical thinking, thinking skills, and the ability to solve problems. Knowledge, discipline, and goodness all came together, and I will always be thankful for the solid foundation St. John Fisher gave to me in my life and business. You are now alumni of St. John Fisher College. Congratulations to all once again. Take your dreams and the Fisher values into the business world. Embrace change, it's constant. Ask the Wegman people. Empower others. Set goal, your goals high. Never set low goals. And celebrate your successes. Give incredible service throughout your career. Become a leader, and I'll tell you the secret on how to become a leader. The secret I learned many years ago was never think about yourself first, Always help others first. That's the secret to being a good leader. By doing this, blessings and good fortune will come your way. I have a challenge for all of you as you go out into the world. Go out and make this world a better place. Better than it is today, that's your challenge. And oh, by the way, have fun. Thank you all very much. Sincere thanks, Jack, and congratulations. At this time, I would like to introduce Dr. Carol Whitmire, Interim Dean of the School of Business, to say a few words. Carol? Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. President Bruni, Provost Raley, trustees, Team Salerno, faculty, colleagues, Father Kevin, family, friends, and my very favorite, yes, class ever, you, the class of 2021. We've had quite a year together. I really want to recognize that. On behalf of Team Salerno, I would like to congratulate Dr. DePeters. Thank you for your tireless service to the St. John Fisher community. Was I the first one that called you that? Yes, I wanted to do that. Be be because of your steady guidance and vision and that of your fellow trustees, several here today, we were able to weather the last year with confidence and focus on what mattered most, our students. Thank you so very much. Favorite class of 2021. Favorite class of 2021, this morning I got up to my normal routine on a day that is anything but normal. In honor of my mother, I said my rosary and thanked God for this very special day, your graduation day, and for the gift of being present with you and your parents here today. It was something I took for granted in the past, no more. Then I got my running shoes on and played my favorite song that many of you hit in this room have heard me sing. I wanted to sing it today, but COVID rules overruled, and being trained as an auditor, I don't break rules. 
I promise to play it on my trombone at your reunion in the fall. Right here, right now, there is no place I'd rather be. Right here, right now, watching the world, watching Fisher, watching you make history. That song by Jesus Jones is how I start every class. Other than Father Kevin's and the medical profession's ministries, I believe there's no greater calling than serving you, our students, our future, and what a bright future you have. We've been able to see it. Class of 2021, you've inspired many groups of shareholders like us in ways you may never fully realize. We are so invested in your success and the ROIC you have given us has been extraordinary. Our dividends are anything but ordinary. This last year of your Fisher career has been some year. Early August 24th, the first day back after not seeing you since March, my husband Mike got up and found me in my favorite chair. He said, what's the matter? I said, LIFO management. And he said, what does last in first out inventory have to do with your going to see your students today? I said, there's been so much coming at us to get ready for this day, so many safety rules, etc. I hope we have it right. He asked me, may I make an observation? We've been together for 39 years, so I said to him, maybe. He said, I have noted that you jump out of bed in the mornings fastest when you're going to be with your students. Focus on them. Everything else will fall into place. He then said, I'll do my part to support you. My work at the family business, I'll do all the cooking, cleaning, and all the maintenance as usual. He handed me my mask, my sanitizer, and told me not to get within six feet of anyone and to go and have a good time to have fun with you all. And we did that. While that conversation was happening in the Whitmire home, my esteemed colleagues, Team Salerno, were having similar ones in their homes. You all, you students, class of 2021, got to see some of that in action, I know. They had it more challenging with responsibilities for young children now being at home and elderly parents sprinkled around the nation. But we had one thing in common. We've been so inspired by you, by your resilience, by all you did to take advantage of everything Fisher had to offer you in this very difficult year in particular. You put your masks on, you came to class in person, or you showed up on Zoom. You also forgot you were muted. I know I did a lot, my colleagues did, but you did too. That was supposed to be a later note. You stayed socially distant from your friends, cleaned your desks like your moms were watching. You participated in rigorous business competitions where we got to see you transform and grow every single iteration of the way you worked well in teams. You challenged each other in those competitions. You interviewed for jobs on Zoom and had internships on Zoom. You played sports with no fans and shared your dreams and challenges with those around you with an empowering sense of vulnerability. You reinvented Teddy and all of your service activities. It was an amazing performance for Team Salerno to watch. Class of 21, you are always on stage and we were watching you with great joy. We thank you so much for our journey together. Your other big shareholder group is your family. Thank you to the parents of our favorite class of 2021. You are our favorite limited liability business partners. This year was surely complicated for you as well, and we appreciate all the selfless support you gave to your students. We're so grateful to see you here today at this most important shareholder celebration. So, Favorite class of 2021, we're at the finish line. Your final audit is in. You got a clean opinion. You did it. Congratulations. May your great journey continue. And may every day you jump out of bed to rush to your ministry, your calling, singing right here, right now. Thank you. Thank you, Carol. Now I'd like to ask the baccalaureate candidates of the class of 2021 to please rise. Anybody getting a bachelor's degree this year? <laughs> I thought there were a few of you out there. Thank you.
Dr. Rooney, the faculty of St. John Fisher College have recommended that the following students have satisfied the degree requirements set forth by the state of New York and have fulfilled the graduation requirements of the college. Thus, I am pleased to present to you at this time the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Science. In the presence of the trustees, faculty, students, and friends of St. John Fisher College in public convocation assembled, by virtue of the power granted the college by the Board of Regents of the University of the State of New York, and by the authority vested in me by the trustees of St. John Fisher College, I do hereby confer on the candidates here present and such other candidates in absentia as are recommended by the faculty and certified by the registrar, the degree of Bachelor of Science, as it is entitled, together with all the rights, privileges, and honors appertaining thereto. Please join me in welcoming Professor Ron Sicker, visiting Ass Assistant Professor of Practice, and Dr. Patricia Wallen, Associate Professor and Chair of Accounting and Finance, who will read the names of our graduates. Kirsten N. Adams. <laughs> Hannah L. Bartolato. <laughs> Max Bates. <laughs> Cameron Nicole Baxter. Emily E. Bort. Amber E. Doskos. Michael J. Dugan. Abigail Catherine Dwyer. Jack Nelson Fitzgerald. Paige Elizabeth Freer. And today is Paige's 22nd birthday. Tedros Christos Tedros Gabrazi Dirhir. Alyssa Jo Green. <laughs> Abigail Ann Harris. <laughs> Zachary Heltzel. <laughs> Connor David Ainuzo. Nicole Iorio. Brooke Nicole Johnson. Michaela Marie Kovach. Patrick James Leahy. Jonathan J. Letta. Kyle M. Link. Jeremy Joseph Lockwood. Maria Julieta Mercera. Olivia Rose Neatar. Elise Marie Olivo. Thank 
Maxwell O'Rourke. Emily D. Piccarelli. Emma Rose Pyrak. Matthew Carter Round Delanos. Nicholas Thomas Riggio. Nicholas Raphael Reno. Michael J. Rizzo. Eric Joseph Shaben. And my son, Egan James Sicker. Lauren Bellavina Smith. Andrew Nicholas Spallone. Matthew Mark Thornhill. Brandon Anthony Todd. Emily Catherine Trotman. Eleanor Wheeler. Austin James Bolat. Trevor Michael Boyd, Award for Excellence in Finance. Nicole Schwalak. Oliver J. Clayton, Award for Excellence in Finance. Alison Marie Colella, the Otto Schultz Accounting Excellence Award. <laughs> Emily Irene Crispin, the Otto Schultz Accounting Excellence Award. <laughs> Joseph Don John Dotterwich. The Otto Schultz Accounting Excellence Award. Patrick Robert Gaylor. Lucy Marie Ann Gorlin. Andrew B. George. Blake Scott Gross. Nicholas Raymond Ingalls. Megan Marie Krieger, the Otto Schultz Accounting Excellence Award. Lauren Elizabeth Long. Justin Daniel Marulo. Jo Marie Ann McIntyre, the Otto Schultz Accounting Excellence Award. 
Charles Taran Miley. Jason D. Morley. Kerry Ann Orbach. Antonio Miguel Reyes. Zoe San Filippo. Matthew J. Chandra. Renee Seltzer. Zachary T. Smith. Corey Michael Stanhope. Catherine Ann Stinson. Jacob Storsberg. The Otto A. Schultz Accounting Excellence Award. Avery Benjamin Toroso. Maxwell Augustus Thurston. Sarah Catherine Ann Vandekar. Corey James Wade. Michael Anthony Yonta. Matthew Charles Zorb. So now when I use that word baccalaureate, you know I'm talking to, right? <laughs> okay. Baccalaureate degree recipients, it's time now to turn your tassels. Congratulations. And now will the master's degree candidates of the class of 2021 please rise. Dr. Rooney, the faculty of St. John Fisher College have recommended that the following students have satisfied the degree requirements set forth by the state of New York and have fulfilled the graduation requirements of the college. Thus, I am pleased to present to you at this time the candidates for the degree of Master of Business Administration. In the presence of the trustees, faculty, students, and friends of St. John Fisher College in public convocation assembled, by virtue of the power granted the college by the Board of Regents of the University of the State of New York, and by the authority vested in me by the trustees of St. John Fisher College, I do hereby confer on the candidates here present and such other candidates in absentia as are recommended by the faculty and certified by the registrar, the degree of business administration, as it is entitled, together with all the rights, privileges, and honors appertaining thereto. At this time, I would like to invite Lori Hollenbeck, Assistant Dean of the School of Business and MBA Program Chair to come to the stage to present diplomas to our MBA graduates. <laughs> Benjamin Augustine Badaski. Otto A. Schultz Academic Excellence Award winner. 
Samantha Bartoloni. Joseph Michael Caleri. Sergio Orlando Chavez Rodriguez, the Master of Business Administration Distinguished Student Award. Joshua Pita Ignacio Constantine. William Hope Dean III. Anthony Joseph D'Elia. Maria L. Doig, the Master of Business Administration Scholarly Achievement Award. Kristen McDonnell Ecklin, the Master of Business Administration Scholarly Achievement Award. Nicholas David Heffler. Stephanie Margaret Ingalls. Christopher Keyes. Caleb Joseph Killy. Jada Kims. Hannah Cooper. Robert Joseph Lilio. Matthew Stephen Molinaro. Lindsay Marie Murray. Jesse Michael Scott. Sherry Chow. Bibi Aknisa Suleiman. Matthew Scott Taylor. Jacob Michael Thompson. And William Harold Wicks, Master of Business Administration Distinguished Student Award. Master's degree recipients, it's time to turn your tassels. Congratulations. At this time, I introduce to you Ben Badosky, who has been chosen by the school to speak on behalf of the graduates. Thank you, Provost Rayleigh, President Rooney, Trustees Knoll, DePeters, Keating, and Salerno, faculty, families, and classmates. Before I begin my remarks, I'd like to thank Dean Whitmire on behalf of all of my classmates for your leadership and support during these very challenging times. It is with great honor that I'm here today and speaking in front of all of you with arguably one of the most resilient graduating classes in history. The past year and a half has been some of the most challenging years for students. When you and I envisioned our senior year while walking on campus at St. John Fisher College as freshmen, 
We envision all the amazing activities and celebrations that we would be involved in to celebrate the years of work ahead of us. The class of 2020 and 2021 could have never predicted that we would not have been able to enjoy these experiences. In fact, I didn't even predict that I'd get an accounting major and go on to get my MBA when I originally anticipated being a pre-dental major at Fisher. Imagine that, going from dentistry to accounting. Anyway, my experience at the School of Business is something that I would not trade for the world. Coming in as a freshman and realizing quick that chemistry wasn't for me, I was thankful for the School of Business professors who motivated me to switch to an accounting major given my experience in Accounting 101. The School of Business provided me with opportunities to gain real-world experience and rigorous challenges that would allow me to grow into who I am today. I was fortunate enough to experience the PricewaterhouseCoopers case competition as a freshman, and thereafter, I joined the Accounting Club, Entrepreneurship Association, the Teddy Dance for Love, and the Dean Student Advisory Council. The School of Business even supported my colleague, Caleb Killy and me, in creating the Leadership and Professional Development Club during my graduate studies in the middle of a global pandemic. These opportunities provided by the School of Business helped me mature and realize my ability to influence others in a positive manner. The creation of the Leadership and Professional Development Club is one of the most enduring things I've done on campus, as my colleagues and I have been able to create value for other students seeking to develop themselves. All these experiences have enabled me to get internships at the Dolomite Group as an accounting intern, Interown Co. CPAs as a tax intern, DeJoy, Knopf, and Blood as a financial assurance intern, where I've accepted a job after graduation as a staff accountant. Our time as students at Fisher has ended, but the impact it has had on all of us will last forever. I encourage all of you to apply the skills and the knowledge that we have developed over the past few years and to truly make an impact in the world. Congratulations to all my fellow graduates, and thank you to the professors and families who have supported our dreams and motivated us to get to where we are at today. So again, Thank you and congratulations, graduates. Thank you, Ben, and congratulations again. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back to the podium President Rooney. Thank you, Dr. Rayleigh. Graduates of the class of 2021, let me tell you briefly about our patron, John Fisher. By his example of linking learning with holiness, by his service to God and to the human family, by his loyalty to faith, conscience, and his principles, John Fisher's life bore eloquent witness to the enduring values of goodness, discipline, and knowledge. I invite you to practice what you have learned during your time here and live the motto of your alma mater, practicing goodness first, tempered by discipline, informed by knowledge. As a part of putting these principles into practice, I encourage you as you rightly celebrate your accomplishment today to think of the people that helped you on your journey, family, mentors, and faculty, as one recent graduate said, the community of advocates around you. With their support and your diligent work, you now have the distinction of a college education or an advanced degree and the responsibility that comes with it. Just as your personal communities have contributed to your success, it is now up to you to engage with new and different communities and contribute to their success. As college graduates, you have the ability to affect positive changes where you live and work, to take on influential roles, 
and to help shape your communities based on the knowledge and principles you've refined during your time at Fisher. My hope is that your education has been a transformative experience that has made a positive impact on you. You should know that you have made a very positive impact on the college as well. I would encourage you to stay involved with the college as alumni. Perhaps an alumnus has helped you at some point along your journey. You are now in a position where you could be of service to future Fisher students for years to come. Thank you for spending this time with us and for your many contributions to St. John Fisher College. Your accomplishments and your spirit have helped make Fisher the special place that it is. It has been my pleasure to serve as your president, and I know I speak on behalf of our faculty and staff when I say what a privilege it has been to be part of your educational journey. No matter where life takes you, renew your purpose and broaden your impact, and never forget your days at Fisher. We wish you the best of days ahead. God bless you all. Thank you, Dr. Rooney. I ask you now to please rise and join us in listening to the college's alma mater found in your commencement program. And then please remain standing for the benediction to be offered by Father Kevin Manara. Graduates, let's conclude with a prayer written by another English scholar, bishop, and servant whose ideas greatly shaped modern higher education, St. John Henry Newman. Let us pray. God has created you to do him some definite service. God has created some work to you which he has not committed to another. You have your mission. You may never know it in this life, but you shall be told it in the next. You are a link in a chain, a bond of connection between persons. God has not created you for naught. You shall do good. You shall do his work. You shall be an angel of peace, a preacher of truth in your own place, while not intending it if you do but keep his commandments. Whatever you are, you can never be thrown away. If you are in sickness, your sickness may serve God. In perplexity, your perplexity may serve him. If you are in sorrow, your sorrow may serve him. God does nothing in vain. He knows what he is about. Your friends may abandon you. You may be thrown among strangers. You may feel desolate. Your spirits may sink. Your future may be hidden. Still, God knows what he is about. Therefore, trust God and be at peace. Amen.
On behalf of the Bazillion Fathers, may the blessing of Almighty God be with you on this day of your graduation and all the days of your life. Amen. Graduates, congratulations to you once again on your achievements. We are so pleased we were able to celebrate you together and in person today. Yours has been a special class to us as you have conquered the end of your undergraduate and graduate careers in an unprecedented moment in the college's history. Thank you for the imprint you've left on all of us. You have our best wishes for whatever comes next. Please remain seated as we begin the recessional and wait for your, your row to be dismissed. Ladies and gentlemen, I declare this commencement closed. Thank you.